First thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the valve to the transfer pump is open, whether it's this type or the smaller type. Make sure the valve's open because we've got to release all the air to this pump. We want to unplug the pump from the air. And we're going to unscrew the uh, cylinder off of the pump. And mainly what we're doing here is getting rid of the moisture and re-lubricating the transfer pump. We're going to take the cylinder off. We're going to take a clean rag and wipe out the cylinder. And wipe off the air motor to the pump. We're going to take about a nickel size dab of white lithium grease and put it on the cylinder. That's about how much grease we need. Then we just run that around as far as you can reach. You don't have to go all the way in. A little bit on the threads doesn't hurt. I'm going to be careful. We've got fine aluminum threads here. So uh, if this cylinder isn't turning, it's probably cross-threaded. While we've got the cylinder off, we want to take a look inside and uh, take a look at that spring inside and make sure it's not collapsed or damaged. And then we'll go ahead, if, as long as the spring is good, we'll put the cylinder back onto the pump. And this is just going to go on there hand tight. And like I said, if, is it, if it's not turning free, it's cross-threaded. Stop, back up, and start over again. Just going to go hand tight here. And we want to make sure we plug our air line back in. And then we would go ahead to the other pump and do the same exact procedure. Now from the transfer pump, we're going to go and we're going to clean our screens. And this happens to be the older type machine. Uh, the screen's in a little bit different position. So when we go to clean our screen, the first thing we want to do is uh, shut off the supply valve right here. We want to make sure that that valve is shut off. And that's the only time we're going to shut this valve off is when we're going into the screen. Once our valve is shut off, we're going to take a bucket to catch some scraps that fall out of there. We're going to place that underneath of where the screen is. And with a one inch wrench, we're going to loosen our screen screw, which is right here on the end of the pump. And again, this is the, uh, this is the older style pump. And we're just going to loosen that up. So here's our screen. And we want to remove this from the screw. There's a small clip on the end, right here. To take this off, we'll just set that in the palm of your hand on a rag, and with both thumbs, I'm going to push that clip to remove it. And once, it, once the clip is started out there, then you can grab it and pull it off. To make sure we don't lose this clip. So we'll just set that down for now. We're going to pull the screen off of the screw itself. So now we've got the screen and the screw separate. We're going to flush both pieces off with gun cleaner. Then we're going to blow them dry with compressed air.
And we're going to repeat that procedure, flushing it and blowing it dry. I'm going to do this twice to try to get as much uh, residue off of here as we can. After we clean the screens by flushing it and blowing it dry twice, we want to look at the screen and the light to make sure it's actually clear. Sometimes a varnish can form on these screens and they look clean in your hand and they can be completely clogged. So we just want to make sure that they're actually clear. Uh, a little bit of debris on it's alright. As long as the screen's at least 80% clear, we're fine. We can use it again. Any less than 80% clear and we'll throw it away and put a new one on. Now once we've confirmed that the screen's clean, we're going to put it back onto the screen screw. And we're going to put our clip back on. This clip just slides right into the groove. It just holds the screen onto the screw. Make sure it's all the way clipped though. And we're going to put some grease on the threads. All threads are going to get grease on them. A little bit of grease on there and we're using white lithium grease everywhere on this machine the reason is that white lithium has no moisture in it we're trying to stay away from moisture most other greases have got some form of moisture so once we've greased the threads we're going to put it back in and tighten it up And this doesn't get super tight, we just want to snug this up. Just snug, we don't need that to be really wrenched down tight. Then we want to make sure that we open this valve, we don't want to forget to open this valve back up now. And we want to do this maintenance in the morning before we're going to run, we don't want to do it at the end of the day, we want material to be flowing back through these parts. Now at this point we would change our gloves and get another bucket and do the B-side, the same exact procedure. Open the valve, I mean shut the valve, take the screen out, take the screen off of the screw, flush it, blow it dry, flush it, blow it dry, check it in the light, put the screen back on the screw, clip back on, grease the threads, put it in, snug it up, and don't forget to open the valve. Our next thing that we want to do for our weekly uh, maintenance, so far we've greased and cleaned and lubricated the transfer pumps. We've cleaned and lubricated both screens. We're also going to change our pump lube. And this is our pump lube in this jar. And all we'll do is unscrew this jar from the lid and dump that pump lube out to the waste wipe the jar out with a clean rag and refill this jar about three quarters of the way full with pump lube. You want to make sure we're using pump lube, nothing else. And then lastly we're going to clean the screens on our gun. So we're temporarily going to take the gun off of the hose and uh, that's what we're going to do now. For the last of our weekly maintenance we're going to take off the gun in order to clean the screens on the gun. And this is one of the few exceptions that the gun's going to come off of the hose. Normally the gun's going to stay on the hose, except for a few exceptions like cleaning the screens. And to do that, we want to always double check that these valves are closed. Even though they should be, just take a minute to check them. If you take this gun off of this hose and they're open, you're going to be covered with material and you're going to cross the gun over. So you want to double check that the valves are closed. And then we're going to remove the gun by unscrewing this center screw that holds that gun onto the hose. Now once we've got the gun off of the hose, and we're just for clarity, we're going to switch to this other gun so you can get a better look at it. 
once we've taken the hose off of the gun, we want to make sure that the gun stays upside down so that the one material doesn't run into the other. <laughs> and we're going to remove one screen at a time, and these are the screen assemblies here. Uh, they're both the same exact part, but one is marked with an A. The A side is marked with an A, just as a reference for you. We're going to take out the screen assemblies. There's a ledge right underneath of this flange here, enough to get a screwdriver under. And just turn the screwdriver a little and the whole assembly will pop up. Take the screen assembly out, that's the check valve and the screen. We'll remove the screen from the check valve, just give it a little twist and pull it and it'll pull off. Now both pieces we're going to flush off with gun cleaner and blow dry with compressed air. So we're going to flush both pieces, turn them over, flush them, and then blow them dry with compressed air. Flush them again. And then blow them dry with compressed air again. And same with any screens, we want to look at that screen up in the light to make sure it's actually clear. And just like with the other screen, if that screen is any less than 80% clear, throw it out and put a new one in. Now we're going to put the screen back onto the check valve. And we're going to take a little bit of grease to put on the O-ring. We don't want to load up the screen. If we get a little bit of grease on the screen, it's okay. But we don't want to really load it up. But we definitely want to grease that O-ring. Once we've got the O-ring greased, we're going to set that back into place in the gun. Now, occasionally, that'll want to keep popping up. If that happens, you'll take a small screwdriver and hold that check ball open as you push it down, and it'll stay in then. Now we want to either change our gloves or wipe them off really well, and we're going to do the other side, the other screen, same exact procedure. Sticking the screwdriver in the groove, give it a little twist, pull the whole assembly out, take the screen off of the check valve, Flush both parts with gun cleaner, blow them both dry, flush them again, blow them dry, check the screen up in the light to make sure it's actually clear. If it is, we'll put it back onto the check valve. Again, grease the O-ring, and reinstall it back into the gun. Now, as soon as we're done cleaning the screens, we're going to put the gun right back onto the hose.